Hey guys, Mom Michel here. Today's topic, um, we are going to look at a video called um, can, a, uh, can a Man Date a Successful Woman? If I am correct. I think that's what it was. Let me just double check quickly. Because I think it says, I think yes, I think it is Can a Man Date a Successful Woman? No, can you date a successful woman? So, can you do this? So, um, the, uh, so this video, can you date a successful woman? It came from this uh, content creating platform called um, Eight at the Table. Uh, so, the uh, I guess that topic is maybe it's a big topic, especially in the black community. Um, well, interestingly enough, so I, I wanted to see uh, what they actually uh, have and see what kind of advice they are giving. If it is, um, and I wanted to also look to see if it's if there's a biblical perspective as to what they are saying, if it's biblically correct or just in a worldly perspective. So let's begin with it, um, let's not take any further with that video so i've messed with powerful girls before and i never it was never like a because i do well for myself that's right and exactly. i don't need nobody to do nothing for me exactly. so it's like the insecurity part i don't think i'll have an issue with my girl if he wasn't so successful what about that angle then i would never know you would never know I wanted to mention this right off the bat. So that so guys, so when I make those videos and um, which I make mostly for for uh, for the Christians um, primarily, but it's basically for everybody as well. Um, so the first thing that they kind of started right uh, as of uh, when you look at the men's nature, like my nature as a man. Yes, of course I would fool around with women or at least with any woman whether you're successful whether you're unsuccessful whether you're pretty um, and not too pretty but I mean if you are in a degree of not pretty then I don't think men would men would probably steal but it, it would be very rare but um yeah or, as a man I would definitely um, fool around with you but because of my background my religious background as a Seventh-day Adventist, Bible believing Christian, there are certain things that I'm not going to do, and not that I cannot do. I mean, I, I could still go out and fool around, but um, that would that be the great, the best idea? No. So, as I've as I've seen things that have happened, and so I, there are certain things I'm not gonna do now. That's that's me speaking as a Christian, and of course, when I read the videos for the Christian, uh, we have to notice that the way he actually started, which is a great way to start, because when I what I read, what I mean is, if you remove, if I were to remove God in my life, the Bible and the Christian values and or any religious values at all, and just be left unto my own desires. Oh yeah, I will be fooling around with any woman. So what you just said is actually correct, in a sense. If you're looking at in a men's perspective, what we are made of, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And whether she is successful or unsuccessful, and I kind of like the way they started because the way they started it is a way to capture attention. I say, hmm, that's a nice video. So I kind of give them props to that editing that they did on their video to catch people's attention. But so far, so good. Um, but I would say this, even though I'm making the video that is based from them, what, what I would say is I, I'm, I cannot agree with everything because if I, when I put the biblical perspective in place, 
then there are certain things that they're going to see that might not align with the Bible. And so if you see me um, agreeing with in, in, in one point, and that same point disagreeing with, with them, is because I'm looking at it in a, let me remove the Bible, let me remove God, and see if, is that the right thing, is that what it is? But as a Christian, of, of course, I'm going to go through the lens of the Bible, the lens of God's will, to see, are they saying that something that is in accordance to God or in disaccordance? So that's basically what I mean by um, not fully agreeing all the time with what, they, with what they say. But let's move on. Let's move on. Hey guys, it's your girl Amanda. Welcome back to Eight at the Table. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, like, love, and share our videos. Uh, we are an independent production, which means we work very hard to create this platform to have these conversations to bring to you guys. And let me actually put that as well. Uh, <laughs> let me say that. Hey guys, my name is Mario Michel. Uh, I'm also a content creator. Uh, please don't forget to also like and subscribe to this channel and also share the videos to uh, other people that that actually that could be Christian that would like to know what what would be the best idea or the best thing to do in the in this world as a Christian. Please do like and subscribe to my, to my channel. Share the video as well. And ring the bell because I kind of post videos um, a bit often now. Um, I was gonna say something else. No, never mind. That's oh yes, and I'm gonna I'm, you're gonna see the 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 I'm gonna post I'm gonna you're gonna see the 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 subscribe on the screen with the also on Facebook because I also have one on Facebook. You also can um um like or follow me on Facebook as well. But you're gonna see it popping up on the screen as I'm speaking right now. So let's move on to the main story. Have you ever felt threatened by a person you're in a relationship with? So the question: Have you ever felt threatened by success in a relationship? Have you ever felt threatened by success in a relationship? Well, I can tell you right off the bat. The answer for me is no. Do you know why? Because I never had a girlfriend. So, uh, yeah, because I never had a girlfriend, so that question doesn't apply to me. But if you had a girlfriend or boyfriend, um, I'm, I'm, when, I, when I said that, I mean like, if you are a man, you had a girlfriend, and a girl had a boyfriend, uh, not what the world is promoting, but biblical sense. And let me know in the comment section as to, have you ever felt threatened by success? in a relationship. Let's move on. I've never dealt with feeling insecure about my partner's success, but I would definitely say I had times where like, I know if I didn't just get my stuff together, period, this relationship can dissolve. So it wasn't that about her success, I just knew where she was headed or the type of man she wanted because she saw the potential in me. So, you know, I was comfortable, I'm chilling. But then it was certain hints, not about her glowing up, but it was just certain conversations she would have. And she would just ask me like, hey, um, you applied for that job yet? Yeah, I did, all right. Then she'll follow up on me with it. And I'm starting to get the hints like, all right, she want this shit now. It made me like, got a little nervous. Like, I'm about to lose my girl. I'm about to be out here assed out. So it, it did put a little motivation in me and I respect how she did it. You know, not on some like, you ain't ish, you ain't no good. She, you know, kind of give me the little strong, you know, tough love. <laughs> okay, let me pause right there. Um, so here's the thing though, um, gentlemen, mm, now there's nothing wrong with your woman, um, pushing you to become better, but man, you cannot be, I cannot, I cannot understand why a man is not actively trying to become better by his own effort. You know, I won't put it that way. The moment I left home, the moment I left home, like my house, my parents' house, there's not a single woman who I've had in my life to try to push me forward. 
Yes, some of like I know sometimes on LinkedIn, some women, some women, there's a particular woman, her name is um, what's her name again, Mario? How do you forget her name? I'm gonna come up with her name. Actually, you know what? Yeah, because no, her name is um, yeah, her name is on LinkedIn, and she saw that I was actually looking for a a position uh, I was looking for a position and uh, and so this lady when she saw my profile picture on LinkedIn she started sending me um, let's say um, career events um, this is the job posting and she would send them to me like she's an older lady like she could probably be my mom too I don't know but she's an older lady and I was thinking that she she sent me those those requests not because I would those um links and things like that where I would have to go and apply to the to the job and but in a sense what what I'm saying is because I well first of all because I never had a girlfriend so I didn't have a girl next to me pushing me to be to have a, to get better one thing I know is I always said to myself, if I start something, I want to finish it. And yes, I would be applying for jobs like 15 times in one week or in two weeks, 30 times in three weeks sometimes, and I would get bad results all the time. And so sometimes what I did was, I would start asking my friends, hey, do you have any opening job from people that you know, that way you can reference me and when I did that, I got m better, better outcomes. And of course, like last time, one of my best friends, he's also Haitian. He's like, hey, there is this job. You should apply for it. I'm like, what is it? And so it's not that I had people pushing me. I was already pushing myself. And when they saw me pushing myself to become better, they're like, hey, I did find a job you might be interested in. Hey, would you want, would you consider it? And of course, I considered it, and now, thank God, I am working in that job, and I'm working from home. So, as a man, we should always, always be pushing ourselves to become better. And of course, I put that on my channel. Be better. Always be better. Don't just lay, um, sit back and lay back and wait for a woman to be the one um, pushing you forward. But, let's move on. Personally, I don't feel like I've ever been jealous of like my partner, my, like my now husband or even like other men I've dated. Well, it's because, it's because as a woman you expect the men to provide. There should be no need for you to be jealous or feel threatened. Unless he is, he has a bad attitude about getting success. If he doesn't have a bad attitude, a bad attitude and ladies, do you understand, there are some men once they are getting better, then they have more options, they're going to throw you out. So, if you have a man who doesn't have that kind of bad attitude, then, yeah, you shouldn't feel threatened, in a sense. I'm going to root for you. Yeah, go ahead and get that promotion. Go ahead and get that bonus. Because that means we finna ball out. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yes, do better. Oh, you, you you have an idea? What do you need me to do to get this idea off the ground? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm down for it. That's and right. because it's going to benefit me. Even if he was just my boyfriend, mm -hmm. it's still gonna benefit me. Mm -hmm. I don't think know. it's different for a woman because naturally a man is supposed to be a provider, so mm -hmm. you you got. I just said that. Now hold on, before he goes on, I wanted to mention something too. Um, did you realize everything she said is that because she wanted to have an outcome, meaning she wanted because she wants he wants she wants him to be better because it's gonna benefit her. If now what would what what if the man did not get to that level, would she still be with that man? I don't know. But let's move on. Gonna push your man mm -hmm. regardless because yeah. nine times out of so. ten the man may make more money than you. Like Yeah, probably. I mean that, I So think it's, I think, I think it it's different sense. from a woman's point of view. Like mm -hmm. you're gonna push a guy. If your man make more money than you all right, cool, but when you start making more money than him, that's when things... The insecurity comes in. There's 
I don't know. I just mentioned now. It's not about the insecurity. I know you mentioned insecurity, but I I can guarantee you, it is not about the insecurity. I will tell I will tell you later on what it actually really is. Been times that my ex partner was I could be wrong, but I felt like she was jealous of what I was doing as it was growing. I think that she probably felt as though that too, I was getting too much. Why you thought that? What was the... The more it was building, the more problems I was having. This is a key thing. You think that you better now? Oh, mm. yeah. But did and you change as you got... I think change got... is consistent. So I think that I, I, no matter what I do, I'm always changing. Um, you started to be bossy? No, not yet. I, I was always that, like, I'm bossy. I'm a leader. So at the end of the day, I'm always leading. Hove said it the best. He knows any type of success breeds envy and the envy you know you don't really care people who's not really around you but the mm -hmm. closest people to you you'll see the jealousy mm -hmm. among them you looking outside of y'all so but the so envious cool. person is really in it's your right house you. right next to you me i'm a nurturer so um he made a good point on that one and that's why i mentioned earlier if you have if if, you, if the man has doesn't have a great attitude a great behavior that can be a problem to you ladies now granted if he's already like this then there's nothing i mean else you could do about it but i can speak for myself i know and i, I had to learn because i used to be a cocky guy like uh, psh, i think i'm still cocky sometimes uh yeah i, I think i'm still cocky sometimes but um, and when sometimes like even when I was in in high school before I got I finished my college, uh, when I was finishing high school, um, when I when when they asked a question and I answered that question in less than five seconds, one of them would be like, turn around, cocky. I'm like, yeah, you know. See that that was my attitude. That's. I guess, is that my character? I don't know. But what I do is, what I learned was, being cocky, yes, you can be cocky, but don't be displaying your cockiness. Or if you display your cockiness, be at the same time using it in a funny way. Not to put people down. Or, I think that's more likely arrogance. But, no, okay, good thing, I wasn't an arrogant. Even now, I do have some friends that they, 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 I guess sometimes I talk to them, especially some of those women, and they, they I, I guess they get that vibe that I'm talking down on them. I'm like, I'm not talking down on you. I'm just spitting the fact, maybe you feel the type of way, but that's not on me. Why are you feeling that when I, I'm like, no, I'm not making you feel anything. That is you, that is you misinterpreting what I am saying. No. And so sometimes that can happen where a man speaks a certain way and the woman before she would take it as just normal but now that he's making a lot more money then she's taking it as oh so now you're making more money now you think you're better. That can happen. Sometimes it's just a little yeah I don't know but that is a that that's a fact that can happen when you start making more money, and they might feel um, have that sensation that you are now looking down on them because you're making more money. That's not um, a good thing actually to do. But let's move on. I like to see my partner, even friends, anybody who I'm around doing well. So if you that's have right. an idea, if you have a business, I'm gonna push that that's regardless right. of wherever right. it go would go. So I don't think I would have felt me. I'm a nurturer. I like to see my partner, even friends, anybody who I'm around doing well. So if you That's have right. an idea, if you have a business, I'm going to push that That's regardless right. of wherever right. it go would go. So I don't think I would have felt the way if my girl made more money than me. And I've messed with girls who, before her, even during, like, you know, That's play, right. I messed around. That's like, right. I've, I've messed with powerful girls before. And Okay. You see what I said earlier about, like, the way... That what the man is. Um, when you take religion out of the question, take the Bible out of the question, and um, then the man's nature is just to fool around with women. 
men do, uh, when it comes to marriage yeah we some men might want to get married but that whole ceremony thing that that whole walking down the aisle we don't we're not into that all of that thing that's just extra uh, that's that's why that's why we don't we don't really care about that um, flower decoration right now. That's whatever. We are simple. Uh, so earlier I talked about insecurities, and I mentioned that it's not really about insecurities when, when a woman makes more money than you. What most men don't like about a woman making more than they do is that woman now is she has that mindset because women are. Uh, they like hypergamy. If she's making more than you, now she thinks she's better than you. And that doesn't play into your insecurities. You know what that plays into? It plays into her bad behavior. Here is why. Because the moment she starts making more money than you, if she is into that mindset of, I want to make, I want to get the man who's making same or more than I do, then she's going to start disrespecting you and that is a key that some men do not like about a woman most men don't really care if you make more if you make more than i mean i can tell you most men i talk to most men don't really care if or if their woman makes make more money more money than they do we don't care about your money the only issue is or uh, even if you make more than us are you still going to respect us? Because if you cannot respect us because we're going in us, that we don't like. It's not about insecurities. Women like you say, oh, it's your insecurity. I'm like, no, 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 no. It has nothing to do with insecurity. Are you going to change? Are you going to be disrespectful? Are you going to look down on me because you're making more than I do? That's the question. So respect is like basically number one. And the means this, even if you make, because a woman would not show to a, a man no respect if he makes more money than she does. Now, if he's a, a a strong masculine guy, she would never do that. But if she's making more, then she might be thinking, okay, because I'm making more, I'm I'm bringing more to the house financially. I'm more of the quote unquote the man. In, in the in the relationship and so that is when men what men do not like about the woman making more sometimes is the disrespect that they might show but let's move on let's continue and i never it was never like a because i do well for myself that's right and exactly. i don't need nobody to do nothing for me exactly. so it's like the insecurity part i don't think i'll have an issue with my girl if she wasn't okay. so successful what about that angle then I would never know. You would never know. I feel know. like it's not very common, though, for women to be the envious one in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. as women, they expect their man to, to be the one that. Yeah, well, not even, not really to make more money, but, you know, to provide. be able, yeah, provide and just be able to take care of not both of us but yourself because it doesn't have to be a marriage mm -hmm. we could just be you know boyfriend and girlfriend um but i feel like personally for me i've always made more money i date in my age range all the time mm -hmm. i don't date um older than me so i'm always doing better than the guys the that i've mm -hmm. been dating they don't have their shit together and yeah. it's very much in me the person that i am to push them because i'm like i want this so bad for myself so I That's pushed amazing. myself to do it. And I'm like, maybe you guys just need a little push, push a little motivation. <laughs> and that's how my mindset is. So I'm like, if we're going to be together, I want you to be on the same timing. Because I don't want to leave you in the dust. I'm trying to go places. Mm -hmm. And if mm -hmm. we're going to be together, I have that much love for you that I want you to come with me. Mm -hmm. But I, And I also want to ask, like, why is it that it's always the female in a relationship that has to give you that push? I don't think it's that because I've experienced... Um, I started into the relationship where I was the one that made most of the money and I dumbed myself down just to keep my relationship balanced with him. I changed career actually for him. You shouldn't have okay, yeah. I shouldn't, I shouldn't but I'm going to tell you why. Yeah. He was complaining because I was around a lot of artists and he mm -hmm. did not like the fact that 
you know, he kept saying industry, you, you sleeping with one of them, da 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 da. That's, that's nah. probably his own, nah. that's his it own. It was his insecurity, and he felt like. Okay, let me put it that way. Um, <sighs> I'm going to, I'm going to say, I'm going to call these men out, actually, in this one. Um, he's why. Um, he was why. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me get, let me get, let me get the whole picture first. Like, right. you know, I was coming home too late. He felt like what I'm in the what studio. What I was going to say before, what I forgot to say mm -hmm. is balance too. Like, yes. no matter how successful your partner is, if you make your, part, your partner feel secure That's That's and right. you spend time at home, do certain things, they're not going to have time to really think about. Well, he had thing. that, but mm -hmm. he just felt like, you know, you need to go get a regular nine. So, so I don't like this. Bullshit. So what yeah. I did, yeah. I went and got my degree and became the social worker. But before that, he did not like me coming in late, being around weed smoking. And he complained, your hair smell of weed. Uh, you know, so it was just a whole bunch of different, different excuses. And they started adding up and it started festering. So what I did, I said, you know what, let me go back and get another degree. Men are. Okay. So partially they, those men, I was going to call him out. The guy in the gray shirt, the gray suit and like him, uh, the guy in the gray suit, um, him. The guy with the, pink, uh, the, I guess, ivory or cream suit on the side, the guy with the hat. They kind of, they kind of got some of it right. Because when he said, yes, there has to be a balance, I was like, oh, okay, you see? Because I was going to call him out. Because none of them would like their woman being around people like that as well. They wouldn't like it. But when, when he said, but there has to be a balance. You have to, he has to know that even though you are there, that you wouldn't do certain things. There has to, so when he said, I was like, okay, that makes a little bit more sense now. Now I can actually kind of agree with you. But personally, no. I, first of all, why would I go get a woman that works in that kind of industry? Why? Because you have to understand now, this is my biblical aspect kicking in. I'm not speaking as, as of uh, just a regular man. Biblically speaking, as a man, in a, as a Seventh-day Adventist, Bible-believing Christian, you would not see, now, unless you are that kind of Adventist who does Hollywood and music and that are not truly, I would say, not truly wanting to do God's will, because there are some out there. But for those that are living according to the Bible, at least are doing their best to live according to God's principle, for those people, you will never see them getting a person, a woman, in that kind of industry now. Why? Because, first of all, if you are around people that do weed, if you're gonna stick in, you're going to stick to your clothes. Once you bring your clothes into the house, you put it in the laundry basket, it's going to stick to other clothes. So little did you know, little did you know, the whole place is gonna smell like weed. The, your car is gonna smell like weed. Your bedroom is gonna smell like weed. That is not um, healthy. So in that sense, I would definitely agree with that man for having her not wanting to work in that kind of place because you cannot just look at, oh, that's just on insecurity. No, 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 no. If he, why? Okay. Yes, you're coming late from work. Do you have enough time with your husband or with your men? Even women complain when a man is working, let's say, 60 hours a week. Let's say that he works, let's say he works five days a week, and then he works about 12 hours a week. He comes home, he is tired. On the weekend, maybe he has to go to a business trip. And then what happens? The woman complains, Oh, uh, he doesn't have time for me. We rarely have sex. We rarely spend time on vacation. We, so, what, would that be okay for the woman to complain about the man not spending time with her? If it is okay for her to complain, then and we don't put it as of it's her insecurity, then don't put it as an insecurity to the men. Because he, as a woman, he will not spend time with this woman as well. 
So that's why I said I was going to call those men out. I was going to call these men out because right now they are basically being disingenuous because the woman will be okay. It will be okay for her to complain that he works too much, that he spent too much time outside, but it's not okay for the men to complain. And that's, that's apparently his insecurity. I am not buying that part because that's a double standard. Does that make sense? Let's move on. Simple. The most men be like, listen, as long as I got TV, I pay, my bills. I pay my bills, I get to travel when I want to, I'm good. I don't really need no money. And they started adding up and it started be festering. So what I did, I said, you know what, let me go back and get another degree. Men are simple. The most men be like, listen, as long as I got TV, I pay my bills, I, pay my bills, I get to travel when I want to, I'm good. I don't really need no money. But then you have a woman that brings the best about of you who's always pushing you and motivating you. Be like, she'd be like, babe, we need to make a hundred thousand mm -hmm. a year. You finally make a hundred thousand a year. Then she'd be, she be good for six months. And then now next thing you know, she'd be like, baby, this ain't enough. We need to make a hundred fifty thousand a <laughs> well, year. So always pushing to the next level because that's the power and the position that a woman holds. Um, that, I don't really agree on that. That's not the power. I would say most likely. I can say that's greedy. If I were to be more precise, that's greedy. Because, yes, if the man is not, like again, you know what? Hold on. Let me get, let me get it done. I got to disagree a little bit with that. that? Uh oh. I guess I wasn't the only one. Let's see what he has to say. Because money shouldn't be the motive. There we go. Okay. That's why I said greedy. <laughs> Woo! Woo! That's why I said greedy. You see, I just said that's not that's that's greedy. What you can't be satisfied with seventy k or fifty k a year? Okay, fine. Let's go to a hundred k. You can't be satisfied with 100k? No, we have to make 150. Okay, now what else? 200k a year? So you never satisfy what you have. That's called you greedy. You want more money. Is that something wrong with making more money? Not at all. But if you're always pushing for more money, then you are greedy. You love money. And in a sense, you're basically worshiping money. Let's move on. Actually, somebody just decide, decided to disagree. Let's see what he has to say. Amen. Now, I would just when, when you, that. What if, what if you can't make 150 a year? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you going to start thinking that she's going to be looking for? She needs a man that makes 150 mm -hmm. a year. But it doesn't I, necessarily need to be finance. It could be anything. She just got to push you to be the best you. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily need to be If you're the best you, the money's going to come. Uh, 100%. I, I we, we have yeah, okay. That I like. You know why I like it? Because he said it right. She has to push it to be the best of you. And men, gentlemen, again, again, I do not want you to rely on a woman to be the best of you. No. You need to push yourself to be the best of you. You need to push yourself to be the best of you. I made a video the other day. I'm going to put it in the card up there. The video is called um, the, uh, A Wife is Thinking of Leaving Her Husband. The husband was a surgeon, a plastic surgeon. And he was making 100k, uh, 100k, 500k, half a million to 700k a year. And then he lost his job. And he got another one that now is making 250k a year. And because of that, she is already thinking of leaving him. Greedy. That's why I said that. Be careful with your marriage. Let's move on. Help push each other just, you know, to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. that's right. um, and that's the goal. The goal is for us to all work together as a community of people. Period. I, I, right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um. So... Thank you guys so much. Please like, love, subscribe, um, engage in the comments. I know. You okay, I'm gonna stop right there.
I'm gonna stop right there. Um, so let's see. Let's see. The idea of dating a successful woman. Yes, I'm not saying it's not a good thing for a woman to to bring the best of you. Of course, if you have her, she's going to want to have a husband or a man who is always looking to become better. But here's the thing. If every time you get better, she's not satisfied, uh, yeah, that's not a good thing. Now, if you want to take a break and say, okay, honey, for right now, I'm going to stop on that. Now, men, we should not take a break on what, on becoming better. That I mean, circumstances can happen. Things can happen, I understand. But please, don't try to take a break uh, from being better, a better version of yourself. Always try to become better at any moment, any time, any place, anywhere. So, that's about it for me right now. Now, as I mentioned earlier, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, and don't forget to like my on, on uh, follow on Facebook as well. So, and don't forget to share the video as well and comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on dating a successful woman. So, this was Mother Michelle. Hope to see you guys again. Until then. Oh,